All right. We are back with more Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild YouTube content. Yesterday, we completed the Hero Mountain region, which didn't take me super long. It took me a couple of weeks to do, but regardless of the matter, we did it. What's going on, Pira? How are you doing? Hope you're doing all right. My favorite little NPC. I love her so much, dude. I hope she's in the second one. If Pira's not in the sequel, I'm gonna be very upset. It's raining. It's strange. Why is it raining? Just kidding. All right. Um. How are we looking on gear? We got all the gear we need. All the bows and arrows are looking pretty okay. I think I'm gonna go back to the Hero region because uh, that's how we're gonna enter the next region. I think probably. We'll see. We got a couple of ways we can go into it. So basically, this is the Hebrew region, I and mean, we did this. Three, three Lionels right here. All these swords are Lionels, so be careful if you're, anyone's playing this game in the future and you don't know. Yep, there's three Lionels there. Um, but yeah, the Hebrew region is done. We did that. It took us a little bit. It's pretty big. It took us a little bit, but we did it. And it was mostly snow, so, you know, it took us that long. But basically, here's what's going on. This is the last region we have to explore. I'm very excited to do just that, but we have a couple things. We have a couple points of entry, actually. We have here, in the Tabatha Tundra, that can get us in here, or we can warp here, at drawing Parobolas. We have a monster here, I don't know what monster this is, that could be a Lionel or a fucking Hynox or what. And we have a stable here. And we have a shrine here to warp that stable, and we, I think we have a shrine here as well. So, we could start the day off with a shrine and start exploring this region. The last region of the game. So if you guys don't know, um, I am pretty close to being this game, obviously. I'm almost done exploring the map. I've done all of the Divine Beast. The only thing left I need to do, and let me break it down for you guys one more time in case you don't remember, I see myself having eight more sessions of this game in terms of streaming. I see myself this taking probably two days to do, including today and where whenever I play this game next week or the week after that, that'll be two sessions probably. And then I want to do side quests, which will probably do take me two days. And then after I do everything I can in this game blind, I'm gonna pop up in the ultimate guide and then look at what I can find in that in terms of what I haven't done. So I'll probably, probably take me another two days, and then we're gonna fight Ganondorf or Ganon, whatever. Which might take me two days, it might not. So realistically, I have like eight more sessions of this game before I'm totally done with it. So. Let's see what I can do today. So now stream this game tomorrow. Next time we will be playing this game will probably be um the week after next, because next week is Dragon Quest week. We're gonna continue the post game in that game and hopefully make progress in it. Cause last week I didn't make any progress in it at all because it was back Monday on Monday, and then Tuesday I think I started either late or I just I started late and I couldn't really do a lot in the post game because I just didn't have a lot of time to do it. Oh yeah, I said I, I played uh, Mario Kart with my best with my bro, so that's why that happened. I played Mario Kart with my bro, so I didn't have a ton of time to play uh, Breath of the Wild. All right, oh no, I mean Dragon Quest. All right, I remember where we are right now. Um, we've been here a very long ass time ago. So, what we're gonna do, we're gonna call for our horse. Maybe Beetle has some items here. And uh, we're gonna see uh, what we can do in this brand new region. What's going on, Beetle? Such a pleasure to see you again. Uh, what do you got? Finally got some arrows, Beetle. Thank you, jeez, man. You can have arrows for a, for a minute. I don't even need them all. I just want them. I'll buy your darners and your fireflies and your lizards too. Alright, thanks, Beetle. Alright, what's going on in here? There's nobody in here? This place is dry as fuck. This is supposed to be a stable. 
I thought people stayed here. Yes, yes, good morning. Hey, if you're making it time to talk to an old man like me, you must be in need of something. You aren't from around here, are you? Quahaha. <laughs> when you get my age, you can just tell by looking at people's faces. This is here is Woodland Stable, Borders of Elden Region, Hyrule Field. It's an essential fi fixture for travelers. Also, the Great Hyrule Forest, which is near the stable guy's name, is right over yonder. Uh, do you want me to tell you about the surrounding areas? Elden? Elden is north either here. It's the mountainous region with Death Mountain at its center. You can see the Death Mountain from here. In fact, well, but only the backside of it. I don't know why anyone wanted to climb it, but if you were so inclined, the best approach from Akala to the east. If you see the Foothill Stable, you're on the right path. The Maw of Death Mountain is near the stable. But Death Mountain is an active volcano. It's blazing hot up there. If you go unprepared, you'll be as good as dead. Although I'm sure there's someone at Foothill Stable who knows how to deal with the heat. Yep, I already dealt with that. Hyrule Field. Hyrule Field is south of here. It's a huge field past the Crenel Hills. There's no shortage of nature in these parts. It's a beautiful place to live. And just north of the field, you'll find the ruins of Hyrule Castle Town and Hyrule Castle. They used to be the center of Hyrule's culture and commerce, but now, I'm telling you, stay far away from the castle. The field isn't safe either. I'm sure you have plainly that cares about you, so please don't dismiss this warning as the old man's ramblings. I think too many youngins head out to Hyrule Field only to never come back. The Great Hyrule Forest is north of here. It's the largest, it's the largest forest in Hyrule. In the heart of the forest is a terrifying group of enchanted trees called the Lost Woods. I once got lost in there while collecting firewood when I was a boy. As I went deep into the forest, the winds were blowing this way and that way, chilled me to the bone. I got scared and ran as fast as I could, trying to get away from the howling wind. Then all of a sudden, the fog looked and I was standing outside the forest. There's something dangerous hiding in those woods. Don't go wandering in there. Thanks for the tips. Alright, so... I guess there's no one else here. Is that a weapon? That was a double axe, nice. I don't need it, I got all the gear I need. Some amber, just vibing there, okay. I'll take some amber. Alright, this is the girl with the octo balloons. Good kids can see it, they can see the kingdom floating in the sky. Kingdom floating in the sky, huh? Ah, uh, I just don't know what to do. What's wrong? Yeah. Listen, if you want to get anywhere in this life, you gotta have cash and cachet. Uh, the only way to do that in this day and age is go and stay with me here to Hyrule okay. Castle. I know it sounds crazy, but rumor has it's full of abandoned treasure and weapons. They're just sitting there, free for the taking. Well, if you can get past all the bloodthirsty monsters, of course, go for it. <laughs> You're right. I can't let a smoking hot rumor like this go to waste. I gotta act on it, bud. There's a dock at the north side of Hyrule Castle, see? And here you can get inside the castle from there. There's also an ancient shrine somewhere around there. It smells like treasure to me. Stinks like it, even. Of course, no one I know who's gone to how Castle has come back. Probably because there's too much, they're too busy being rich. I should come up with a solid plan. Then I'll be living a good life. Oh, yeah? Alright, well. There aren't a lot of people here. Let's call our horse. Oh. Welcome. I want my horse. I want Zelda. Oh. Yeah. What's up, Zelda? Ready to roll? Huh. All right. So we got a shrine over yeah. here, based on my pinpoint. So, why don't we check it out and explore this brand new region? We've got a lot to look for in this region. I think I see a, a, a bomb of walk wall over there, too. Actually. Sorry, Zelda. Didn't mean to surprise you. I want to grab these radishes, but I see a rock wall right there, so I kind of want to hit that up, too. There's a little dock. I don't really need it, I don't think. Is that person in danger over there? God damn it. Why can't you people just stay near the stable and not in danger? What's wrong with you? Somebody, please! <laughs> Broke my Savage Lionel's sword. What the? Did it break? I was badly damaged. You fine? Uh, 
Wow, thanks. Oh, I might have been that thing to do without you. Hmm, what do I have to give you in return? How's this? Oh, thanks for the fireproof it looks already, guys. Uh, typical, just typical. I, I try to have a day just watching the river go by, and now uh, I'm going back to the stable. Yeah, we gotta be careful out here. This place is crawling with monsters. Alright, so there's an explodable rock wall over here that I want to blow up. I don't know what's in it. I don't think I've ever seen what's in it. So let's check that out. And there's Hyrule Castle. Was in the box. Some shock arrows? I'll take it. Never going wrong with shock arrows. Sorry about that, Zelda. Uh, where's my horse at? I see the tower over there, so maybe we'll slowly make our way to the tower and activate it about the rip so that I can uh, see where the hell I'm going. The game's only a little difficult when you can't see where you're going. Oh, we got a monster camp right off the rip over here. Alright, Zelda. I want to put you in danger, so you stay right here, and I'll uh, I'll handle this nice and easy. Hey, guys. What are we, uh, what are we doing? You guys, uh, sitting by the campsite? I think that guy's gonna stop my bees over there. We wait for the bees to kill that guy. Oh, I guess that's weapons on you, huh? That's had a lot of weapons on you. Uh, what's up, man? I don't know what happened to all your friends, but uh, I see you got stung up by some bees. I'm sorry about that. No one likes getting stung by bees. I'm sorry about this, too. weapons on them over here. Some soldiers' broadswords, some dragonbone bulk clubs. 
Some topaz. I'll take the topaz. Oh, now I know where I can find some, uh... Some pretty okay weapons when I need them. Right on. Some arrows and apples. Alright, I'm back, Zelda. Sorry, I didn't want to keep you waiting in the rain. I saw some moblins that needed taken care of, even though they're just minding their own business. Alright, what else can we find around here? This looks like, uh, Raru Settlement Ruins. Oh, looks like we got some bad guys. Oh, what the fuck? What do you fucking want? Don't you say I'm busy? Shut up. I gotta help these fine folk over here. Can I grab this rupee? Alright, I see you guys. Let's uh, see if you guys can help. If you guys can uh, handle this on your own. Actually, let's see if I can break up this fight. Hold on, guys. Let me let me talk to him. Come on, hey. Come on, man. Hey, dude. Aw, oh, dude, you didn't have to do that, man. Come on, guys. We're trying to bring our races together, and here you guys are fucking killing people and shit. Totally not cool, man. Totally not cool. And what do you have to say about yourself? Killing these humans and shit, man. Totally uncool, man. We're trying to bring our races together. Here you guys go. Killing travelers. How's it going? Gah, this is really gonna hurt my rep. How would I ever live this down? Hmm, I'll get them next time for sure. Yeah, we'll get them. Thanks, highly that meaning is safe. I knew it wasn't smart to go stretch hunting in these parts. Yeah, you guys should be more careful. What's in here? Nothing? Rookie travelers can't fight a couple of buck goblins. Well, you guys want some pretty okay weapons? You can have those. I don't need them. All right. Let's see if there's anyone else who needs help around these parts. Got a mud, a mud bank right here. Okay. A fucking Octrox scaring off my fucking Zelda. You piece of shit. Fuck you. Where are you, Zelda? Zelda, what are you doing over here? Yo, don't go into that fucking mud, Zelda. I don't try to lose you like the fucking horse from Never Ending Story. Got a bridge over that way. There's a guardian over there as well. We can take on, but before oh wait, that's that's a map. That's a part of the map we already been to, so we can go there if we want, but we don't need to. I want to try to find the shrine. I'm not really hearing it. I think it might be a tower that I pinpointed. It, actually, that's what it's starting to look like. It might have been a tower that I pinpointed, not a shrine actually, which is fine. The sooner we activate this tower, the better, so I can actually fucking see. Got some fucking wolves. Oh, 
that's where you gotta battle. I'm not afraid to let's get your fucking horse. How do you get back on your horse so fast, you bastard? Oh, I'm sorry, Zelda. I shocked you too. Here, can we get away from my fucking horse, please, so I don't fucking shock her? Diamond. It's pretty good. Sorry, Zelda. I didn't mean to shock you. You just got caught in that crossfire of me killing that fucking Baka one. Huh? Huh. Huh. I've got more Baka over here. Fuck you! Shooting at me. It's an ancient bow, I'm gonna be using this right now. Alright, good. Took care of those two. So hopefully these parts won't be rampaged by moblins any longer. Alright, let's see what's near this tower now. It looks like there's a little bit of business going on around here. What the heck was that? I just heard a last snort. Fucking keys. All right, Zelda. You stay right here. Looks like I've got another goblin camp actually surrounding this tower. Oh, there's a military training camp. I remember this area. Nothing in here. 
Alright. Let's go deal with this uh, Lizzle foe again. Oh, great. As soon as I need to climb something, it starts raining, huh? Classic. I guess that mob is already done for. Guess I killed him already. That's fine. All right. Um. So we're gonna try to make our way to this tower now. I remember being here already once before. Pretty cool area, TBH. Whoa! Don't super jump into the poisonous lake, Link. Jeez. Just wanted to climb to the top of this thing so I can get a better scout of the area, you know? What? Well, okay, can you not climb this? I guess I can't climb this thing. That's weird. Did I just see a shooting star fall? I think I did. Oh, nice. I thought there was something up here. There's a shooting star over there. Some icicle arrows. Nice, not bad. Alright, what do we got? Got some monsters. Hmm. Alright, we've got some monsters to deal with, I guess. Not a lot, so I don't have to deal with all of them. What I really need to do is get to that shooting star in this tower. So I could just override it all. There's a fire rizzo up here too. So we'll deal with that as well. He's not really a problem, but I hope these guarding towers are activated. That would suck. See, this is kind of what, I'm, what I mean about um for the next game. I want more of this. Like I've never really seen a lot of these. Where it's a big, like, goblin, moblin facility and shit. It doesn't have to be surrounding a tower specifically, but it's like, I want more big areas like this in general. Not just, like, you know, small little goblin campsites and shit. I want, like, whole ass fucking, um. I want whole ass, uh. Whole ass things, you know? whole ass goblin moblin facil facilities that you have to sneak around and loot around, you know? In order to find all the treasure. The Dutchman's treasure. Not just these small little fucking camps and shit. Because this right here, this is pretty cool. It's fucking massive and shit. It's not just like one little thing, it's everything. On the bosses. A royal bow. Alright, I'll take it. We got a bombable wall over there as well. And some bomb arrows. That's what we want. I'm not going to use those on a wall, but you get the idea. I think him and his droppings fell in the fucking mud pond. Alright, let's uh, bomb up this wall right here. Whatever it can be. What 
hell is this? Some minerals. I'll take some topazes. We gave our guru friend all our topaz yesterday, and she gave us a pretty good amount of money for it all. Can't complain about that. But yeah, you see how big and spacious this area is? It has like a bunch of stuff in it and shit. I want more of this in like the next than Zelda 2. Because like it's just a big ass facility of like fucking monsters and shit. And I want more monsters, obviously, but like I want like more more big things, not just these small little things. Cause the small little things, not that they become the same after a while, but like they become like, okay, like yeah, like you know, fucking Fight these monsters, kill them and shit, and we'll be done with it. But, like, we could fucking have it be, like, super complex and shit. Or not super complex, but, just, you know, just, like, fucking... Have it be more fucking... Have more substance to it, you know? Like, imagine this place, but, but like, twice as many more, um... Moblins and foes and shit. I think that'd be so cool. I want to be fucking swarmed by monsters and shit. Not just have like one monster at a time sent at me like a fucking James Bond mo villain and shit. Just like, oh, fucking. We'll, 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 we'll try to fight it one at a time instead of fighting them all together and shit, you know? Like, no, I want them all to like surround me and swarm me and beat the crap out of me. Let's activate this tower. At long last. It has a giant skull on it somehow. Scanning area. What's the final part of the map look like? Oh yeah. Complete map of Hyrule extracted, nice. I really appreciate that. Well, I'll get a bonus reward for doing it, just kidding. Alright, so this is what we got. We got the Great Hyrule Forest as the main centerpiece, which is interesting. We got Typhlo Ruins, which looks like that's gonna be interesting as well we got all these mountains and stuff we kind of been around this area once before not a lot but we have been kind of here um, we got all that we got a big ass mountain here looks like Mount Drenna Aldor foothills rolling plain Solari plain Solari hill with a shrine there we already been to so we got a lot of uh, royal ancient lab ruins oh interesting so yeah we got a lot of things to check out this is gonna be interesting Probably not gonna be able to do it all in one day, obviously. We can probably, realistically, we can probably do like either the northern half or the southern half in a day. But definitely not both. We'll see. We'll see. We got a lot of shit to check out over here in the military training camp. Like, this is a big ass area, you know? Like, I want more of this throughout this entire map and shit. Not just like, you know, the small little pieces of shit. I want like big camps that have been overrun by fucking moblins, you know? That's what I want. Alright, but anyways, we're gonna get into it. We've got the whole map now. I'm gonna need to delete more fucking spots so I can mark up this map for more spots, but hey, we're, we're, we're gooch regardless. Um, we got the whole thing done now. It's gonna be very interesting to go through. I cannot wait, cannot wait to see what we find. So first off, let's check out, oh sorry, first order of business, we're going to check out the military training camp, the surrounding area, we got Rauru Hillside, we're probably going to go around this way, 
Apparently, Hyrule Castle Moat is the way to get into Hyrule Castle, apparently. They said there was a dock at the northern part of Hyrule Castle, so we'll do that shit eventually, but... Yeah, we're gonna check out the southern quarter probably first, and then the northern quarter later. But, before we do that... We gotta check out the rest of this military training camp. And loot it for all it's worth. See if there's any other treasures here. Sapphire, nice. Whoa, don't fucking hit me. I don't even know how you're alive in that fucking mud. Ow, fuck you. Nah, you aren't supposed to fucking notice me. I didn't mean to be using my bow on you, or my ice arrows. That was only supposed to be for the, uh, whiz robe. Alright, so what's the story of this area? Oh, got nah, lightning lizard foe, that's why this area is all electrical. Alright, put it into that, so we can actually walk here. Let's end this recording so that I don't forget and make it an hour long.